Lamar's movies in the last hundred years? Actually, I can't give you everything because uh, if we did that, we'd be here for four or five hours. So we're going to take a look at uh, Mars and the Movies. Uh, let me know when the video's rolling, please. Okay, hi everybody. I'm Jerry Williams. I'm with the San Diego chapter of the Mars Society. And uh, tonight I'm going to take you on a tour of a century of Mars and the Movies. I'm a filmmaker by trade. Uh, actually, I've got a degree in physics, nuclear engineering, but I found it's a lot funner to make movies. I've got 16 feature films under my belt as director of photography or the cinematographer, and um, I do a lot of corporate and industrial work down in San Diego. But I'm also heavily involved with the Mars Society. This is a picture of me on Crew 2. I was there for three days as a journalist, and uh, I've been there several times off-season as part of uh, maintenance missions. So I'm very active in the Mars Society. I, uh, we do a lot of stuff in San Diego. In fact, San Diego's Mars Society came together in the spring of 2001. And in November of uh, 2001, we decided we needed something to do to bring the group together that was a social night, as opposed to you know general meetings and plannings for outreaches and things like that. So one of the things we did is we started having a monthly Mars movie night. So the third Friday of every month, uh, plus or minus, it sometimes changes depending on what's going on, uh, we have uh, people down at my photo studio. I've got a 10-foot screen there. We've got a surround system and we watch Mars movies, and we've been watching that since November of 2001. And it surprised me at just how many Mars movies there are. And after a while, I started creating the MarsMovieGuide.com uh, just to kind of make a list of this and track them. And this thing has grown, and it's, it's pretty amazing. So take a look at it. If you go to MarsSanDiego.org, it's on the... Uh, on the sidebar along with the MDRS and the flash line and a bunch of other links but MarsMovieGuide.com is the direct link to it. So what's so special about Mars? Well in uh, 1894 Percival Lowell built a telescope in Flagstaff, Arizona so he could look at Mars and draw the pictures. 400 years ago last year Galileo uh, put a telescope on Mars for the very first time and found out that it was more than just a little red dot in the sky. He could actually see that there were light colored areas, dark colored areas, it looked like there were polar ice caps. And the best thing about Mars, out of all the planets we know about, minus our moon, uh, you can actually see the surface of from Earth through a telescope. <clears throat> in the 1800s, Giovanni Schiaparelli started making really detailed maps of Mars and uh, we, he drew these canali, which is the Italian word for channels. And when that information got over to Percival Lowell, uh, Lowell said, canali, that means canals. Hey, that means there's intelligent people on Mars, you know, building canals like we're doing in Panama uh, and bringing the water down from the arid northern regions and the southern regions up, up into the uh, arid middle regions. So could there be life on Mars? That was very popular back then. We saw with the 11 uh, John Carter of Mars books that Edgar Rice Burroughs did. We saw with H.G. Wells and his War of the Worlds. And we saw with Ray Bradbury and his Race of Dying Martians when the, uh, well, to put it bluntly, when the white men came. We're looking at Mars through a microscope today. We're actually some really nice telescopes. And down on the surface, we're using microscopes. And uh, these are some of the spacecraft that are at Mars right now. So we're getting a really good look at what Mars is all about. We've got two spacecraft on the surface. Uh, the, the Curiosity rover won't launch until next year. But that's another wheeled vehicle that we're going to put on the surface. And we've got three active spacecraft in orbit right now. And not all of them is NASA. This one here is a European spacecraft. So a lot of stuff is going on at Mars. and. Uh, in the very beginning, in February of 1910, the very first Mars film was ever built. It was a trip to Mars by the Thomas Edison Company, and it's a whole whopping four minutes long. So we're actually going to take a look at that here in just a minute. Uh, 1913, a message from Mars. 
There wasn't much between 1914 and 1917 because that was World War I happening. Uh, das Himmelskibet, or a trip to Mars from Denmark, I just got a hold of this just a couple of weeks ago. And uh, it's a very interesting thing, post-World War II uh, pacifist kind of film where all the Martians are uh, vegetarians and they're all, you know, free love and stuff like that. It's really interesting to see. Uh, the rest of these I haven't seen a peep out of. But let's take a look right now at uh, Thomas Edison's A Trip to Mars. Theoretically. This was built on a home kinetoscope uh, system. You notice he's using chemical product propulsion?
Okay, uh, continuing on in the 1920s and 30s, we have Alita, Queen of Mars. I've got a clip from that for you. It's a really cool film to look at for cultural perspective at the time, especially if you were in Russia during the Bolshevik Revolution, because it's a beautiful propaganda film. But it's interesting in its own right, too. And then just imagine, 1930s, it's actually a Martian musical. So here's Alita, Queen of Mars. There's the KGB spy. Actually, they didn't have KGB back then, did they? They had GRU or something like that. Yeah. And the big guy in the dress was uh, his wife didn't want him to go on a mission, so he, she stole all his clothes, and he had to wear hers to get out of the house. Go, I actually do recommend you go out and rent this. It is available on DVD. Okay, uh, between the 1930s and 1950s, uh, most of the Mars films were in the cinema as part of a weekly serial. You'd go see Buck Rogers in the 25th Century and Flash Gordon, The Purple Monster Strikes, Flying Discman from Mars, and Zombies of the Stratosphere. These were all serials in like 15 parts on average. And uh, with our Mars movie night, it was kind of fun in the beginning because we'd actually show an episode of these each month and you know work through the whole progression of them. We're currently looking at Duck Dodgers cartoons right now. But here's a take a, lo a look at uh, Flash Gordon and the Deadly Ray from Mars.